welcome friends if you remember in our last lecture we have dealt with uh, how to find out degree of freedom and all of you must have solved the exercise which was given to you for practicing to find degree of freedom we have seen in that lecture degree of freedom can be calculated depending on the support conditions of any structure now what is the exact meaning of degree of kinematic indeterminacy degree of kinematic indeterminacy is nothing but possible degree of freedom we have known how to find out degree of freedom now how to determine what is the possible degree of freedom and what is the non possible degree of freedom is the motto of today's lecture so after this lecture i am sure every one of you will be in a position to calculate degree of kinematic indeterminacy very accurately so let us take the example first example yes we have considered last time that this is the continuous beam having degree of freedom equal to 2 so i am keeping that example this degree of freedom is equal to 2 so what is the degree of kinematic indeterminacy for this particular beam i am drawing it again this is hinged this is fixed hinged and hinged so this was my previous question or this was our previous discussion we have seen degree of freedom is equal to 2 that is rotation at these two supports is possible displacement and rotation at this support is not possible displacement in x and y direction not possible only rotation possible displacement in x and y direction at this stage is also not possible only rotation possible now we have seen degree of freedom is equal to 3 now what is degree of kinematic indeterminacy that is what is possible degree of freedom so if when we talk about possible degree of freedom we have seen degree of kinematic indeterminacy so out of the degree of freedom we have to see what is possible and what is independent now let us talk about this rotation is it possible yes it is always possible because it is independent of any other support condition that is independent of any other things given in the structure that is why this is possible same is the case with rotation at this end it is independent of all other support conditions and all other loading conditions so both are possible so degree of kinematic indeterminacy is 2 possible degrees of freedom are 2 now we have seen few more examples let us consider this example where degree of freedom for this structure is equal to 2 now we have to find out degree of kinematic indeterminacy let me remind degree of kinematic indeterminacy is possible degree of freedom for the first case we have seen degree of freedom was 2 and degree of kinematic indeterminacy was 2 now let us consider this case and analyze what is degree of kinematic indeterminacy let us say degree of freedom is 1 at this end rotation of this is possible then displacement along x direction and rotation about z axis is possible and for the free end all the three displacements possible so 3 plus 2 plus 1 degree of freedom for this structure was 6 now let us see what is degree of kinematic indeterminacy of this what is possible degree of freedom let me check one one by one all degrees of freedom first degree of freedom is rotation of this whether it is possible to have it yes it is independent of anything so this is possible so this can be included in the degree of kinematic indeterminacy look at this this rotation is it independent and possible yes it is independent and possible it does not depend on any other thing yes so this is also possible now concentrate on this displacement friends let us name this as ab let us name this portion as ab now ab is a beam and if we neglect axial deformations if we neglect axial deformations what will happen if end a is not going to deflect or if end a is not allowed to deflect in x direction how end can be deflect in x direction my simple question if we neglect the axial deformations then if end a is not allowed to deflect in x direction how end b will have the liberty to move in x direction since ab length is fixed and there is no axial deformation of ab and a is not allowed to move in x direction b will also be not allowed to move in x direction this is dependent degree of freedom degree of freedom that is movement of this b 
in x direction the translation of the joint b in x direction depends upon whether a is able to translate in x direction since the translation of a in x direction is not possible translation of b in x direction is also not possible because we are neglecting axial deformation and length is going to be constant so this is not possible so this cannot be considered as degree of kinematic indeterminacy because degree of kinematic indeterminacy we have seen possible degree of freedom so this cannot be considered as independent degree of freedom this is dependent degree of freedom it depends on the support condition a if a is not able to displace in x direction b will also be not able to displace in x direction that is why it is not possible and it cannot be considered as degree of kinematic indeterminacy i hope i have made my point clear if not let us analyze joint c now for joint c whether rotation of c is independent yes the rotation of c is independent and it can take place no problem now what about this displacement of c in x direction this coordinate displacement of c in x direction now same case ab is actually non deformable axial deformation of ab is not possible similarly axial deformation of bc is not possible so a is not going to get displaced in x direction that's why b is not going to get displaced in x direction we have cancelled this degree of freedom since b is not going to get displaced in x direction can we not say that it is impossible for c to move in x direction b is not allowing this c to move in x direction and there is no axial deformation of bc if there would have been axial deformation of bc you have performed that experiment of axial deformation in your strength of materials when we have taken a bar and we have made actually we have made it actually deformable and we have measured the axial deformation but since we are neglecting axial deformations if b is not allowed to move in x direction c is also not allowed to move in x direction since a is non movable in x direction b cannot move in x direction since b cannot move in x direction c also cannot move in x direction so this degree of freedom is dependent on b and it is dependent on a so it is not an independent and it is not possible degree of freedom and that is why we will neglect this and we cannot consider this as degree of kinematic indeterminacy because degree of kinematic indeterminacy is nothing but possible degree of freedom now let us talk about this is it possible for this to move in y direction yes it is possible it is independent it is independent it is possible for this c to move in y direction so how many degrees of kinematic indeterminacy degree of freedom were 6 out of which we have find we have found these two degrees of freedom are not possible degrees of freedom so what are the possible degrees of freedom 1 2 3 and 4 so there are four possible degrees of freedom in other words degree of kinematic indeterminacy of this structure is four let us talk about this example a fixed beam degree of freedom is zero and what is degree of kinematic indeterminacy it is zero since there is no degree of freedom so there is no question of possible or non possible degrees of freedom it is equal to zero now let us talk about this particular frame we have solved it degree of freedom equal to 6 at a and at d there is no degree of freedom but at b there are three degrees of freedom displacement in x direction displacement in y direction and rotation about z axis similarly at c since it is unsupported it is displacement in x direction displacement in y direction and rotation about z axis all the six degrees of freedom were possible now let us consider what is degree of kinematic indeterminacy of this particular structure so what is degree of kinematic indeterminacy at a there is no question degree of freedom is zero so degree of kinematic indeterminacy is zero now consider b now ab is a column and again i am saying it is axial deformations neglected all the axial deformations are neglected ab is such a column in which ab axial deformation is not possible so since a cannot deform in y direction do you agree that support a cannot deform in y direction that's why this support b also cannot deform in y direction because if we neglect the axial deformation of this column ab if support a is not settling down if support a cannot move down support b also this joint b also will not leave its position from y direction so though theoretically it is possible practically it is impossible to move in y direction that is why we are cancelling this this is not possible degree of freedom
is the rotation possible yes rotation is independent it is possible is the deflection in x direction possible yes this is a sway frame we have seen last time what is sway frame what is non sway frame so sway frame so this deflection in y direction x direction possible deflection in y direction is depend on this deflection of a and at present a is not deflecting downwards a is not getting deflection in y direction that is why deflection of b in y direction is not possible so i have cancelled it because degree of kinematic indeterminacy is possible degree of freedom so i have cancelled this now let us talk about joint c now this bc is a beam and it is again not axial actually deformable this beam is non actually deformable now whatever is the deflection at b same will be the deflection at c do you agree since there is no actual deformation of bc if b deflects by an amount delta c will also deflect by the same amount delta since length bc is going to be constant if b deflects by an amount delta there will be deflection of b but this deflection of delta will be same as this deflection delta because bc length is not going to get changed there is no actual deformation in bc and that is why this delta and this delta will be same and that is why i am cancelling this delta in x direction at c because it depends upon delta in x direction at b so these two can be considered as same even though it is possible we can consider delta b that is equal to delta c and hence instead of considering two different entities i am cancelling this i am cancelling this degree of freedom so i have cancelled this one because b cannot settle down unless and until a settles i am cancelling this one using the same logic for the column cd if column cd is actually non deformable and d is not going to get settled down d is not getting any deflection in y direction c will also not get any deflection in y direction because length cd is constant because no actual deformation of column cd length cd is constant so there is no deformation of cd and that's why this c will also not get any freedom to move in y direction unless and until d moves in y direction c will not get any freedom to move in y direction and that is why we can cancel this now what about the rotation at c is it independent yes rotation at c is independent it does not depend on any prerequisite conditions so now what are the possible degrees of freedom degree of kinematic indeterminacy is nothing but possible degrees of freedom possible degrees of freedom is delta b then this rotation at b and then this rotation at c so degree of kinematic indeterminacy is 3 though degree of freedom is 6 we have reduced the degree of kinematic indeterminacy that is possible degree of freedom equal to 3 now again a question for you for class work what is degree of kinematic indeterminacy for this for this i am giving you more than 1 and 1/2 minute to ponder upon and give me the answers i can read the answers on the screen if you give me the answers i can read the answers on the screen kindly find out using the same logic find degree of kinematic indeterminacy for this particular structure your time starts now if you have got doubts you can ask me in the chat window you can ask me in the chat window Yes, one minute is almost over. Another thirty seconds. Yes, twenty seconds. Ten, nine, 
okay times up we'll discuss it those who have sent me the answers welcome let us take your answers others those who have not understood try to understand this at a degree of freedom is zero so degree of kinematic indeterminacy is zero at d degree of freedom is zero so naturally degree of kinematic indeterminacy is zero now what about at b look at b now since a b column is non deformable there is no possibility of a moving in moving in y direction so there is no possibility of b moving in y direction because there is no axial deformation of ab possible and since a is not moving downwards b will also not move downwards since ab length is constant so this is not possible rotation yes rotation is independent it is possible now look at this beam bc let me know whether this c will deflect in x direction definitely not it is supported this c is supported it will not move in x direction so since bc length is also actually not deformable and c is not moving in x direction there is no question of this b is moving in x direction this this b is dependent on this support condition c so this b cannot move in x direction this b cannot move in y direction since ab column is there this b cannot move in y direction this b cannot move in x direction because it is supported in this case this delta b was possible just because it was not supported and it was the sway frame this is the example of classic non sway frame and that is why this sway sway displacement of b in x direction is not possible what about this rotation yes it is possible yes it is possible so what is the degree of kinematic indeterminacy for this degree of kinematic indeterminacy for this is 1 and 2 what was degree of freedom 4 degree of kinematic indeterminacy for this is 2 so this is all about degree of kinematic indeterminacy in your homework today i have uploaded a few more examples to find out degree of kinematic indeterminacy of the structure i hope you can find out these degree of kinematic indeterminacies and if in case of any mistake you can always uh, share your views with me on the chat window over there and we will discuss about degree of kinematic indeterminacy depending on your queries in our next lecture thank you